All right, hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about variables in Python 3. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we talked about objects. Now we're going to talk about how we give those objects a name or a reference or a pointer to that object. So let's get started. All right. Uh, basically, like I said before, variables reference an object, okay? They don't hold data. They don't hold type information like other languages, all right? So there's no type information. There's no data associated with a variable. All it does is it points to an object. So in the previous tutorial, we talked about objects. So over here, we got our object. It's a box, all right? We'll just say OBJ for object. All right, that's our object. And over here, we got a variable. We're going to name it var, short for variable, all right? A variable. And all it does is it points like that. It points to that object in the memory, all right? <clears throat> Remember when I talked about a uh, reference counter in the previous tutorial? Basically, it's saying, hey, reference counter is saying, hey, this there's a variable pointing to this. So we're going to uh increment up one all right we're going to count up one and say hey we got something pointing to this all right so that's what a reference counter does and this is the variable just pointing to the object so it's important for you to understand that it has no data associated with it other than hey i'm just pointing over here to object over here and that's all it's doing all right so why do we use variables well basically variables give us the ability to name objects all right they give us the ability to give them a name um and in programming um when you're writing programs it's it's vital for you to be able to give data uh, a name so we can work with it right so it makes more sense to us as programmers now when you name a variable it's important to try to be descriptive all right so say say you got a piece of data it's a dog all right don't name it uh, uh penguin all right you don't want to name it penguin because then you're gonna be like what the heck does this variable mean penguin but i'm working with dogs all right it doesn't make any sense don't do that um so we try to make our variables descriptive all right so how do we create a variable all right uh before we yeah let's oh, we'll go with that how do we do a create a variable well, there's some programs out there, programming languages out there where we have to use a special um, uh, function or uh, functionality to create a variable. Not, not in Python. Basically, all we have to do is var and equal sign. All right. So this is called variable assignment. And then we just give it a variable. All right. Don't worry about what's behind what we're assigning this to. We're just going to say dog. All right. This is a string. We're this is the object. We're just going to refer to this as an object today. All right. So variable name, all right, var, and we're assigning it with an equal sign to the object, just like that. All right. Hit return. And we just call the variable or put the name in as the variable. And it's going to bring that object to us and say, hey, this is what I'm pointing to. All right. So there's some specific rules um, called naming conventions for variables. All right. And basically, um, they can be A through Z. So A through Z, uh, one through nine, and they can contain an underscore. All right. Variables should always start with a letter or an underscore. So they can start with A or they can start with underscore A. All right. Uh, they cannot start with one through nine. So one through nine like that, uh, they cannot start with. Um, variable names are case sensitive. So uh, if we did var, all right, equal to uh, cat, all right, and then I do var like that, it's going to bring back dog. But if I do all caps, var is going to bring back cat. How about if I did var like this equal to um, mouse, all right? And then I call var, I get mouse. And then I can call var and get dog and then var cat, all right? So it is case sensitive, all right? So there are all three different types of variables right there. Um, now, other programming languages, Swift, Java, those uh, promote camel, a camel case, something like uh, 
let's say uh, type car, like what type of car is it? This is camel case right here. Python really uh, kind of tries to discourage camel case. They rather see you write type car like that, all right, with an underscore. That's to me a lot easier to read than this. Maybe because I do a lot of Python programming, but that is uh, a little more difficult for me to read, especially like when I'm writing stuff in Swift and I'm using camel case and I'm trying to read the variable. It's a little uh, a little difficult. And then I come to Python, I'm like, ah. What a relief. All right, so <clears throat> that's the naming convention. Just keep that in mind that A through Z, one through nine, and underscores are the characters that we can use to name a variable. They cannot start with a number. They can only start with a letter or an underscore. Um, they're camel, yeah, they're not camel. They're uh, case sensitive, and uh, Python prefers that you don't use camel case. All right? They rather use, they rather you you use an underscore as a space or what what have you. All right, so we looked at uh, assignment of variable. All right, so we got A is one, all right? That's how I assign A to the object one, all right? Or we do like a first name like this is equal to my first name, Thomas, like that, all right? And see, this is the proper way to write it, not like this. All right, um, we could also do something like this, language, uh, Python. So the underscore works as well. Um, so naming variables isn't too hard. You just, like I said, you remember those rules and try to be descriptive. Like this is probably a proper variable right here. First name, Thomas, all right? Um, so language, this would work as well. All right. That's probably proper as well. Um, we can also chain variables together. So let's say, uh, let's do something like this. Let's do, uh, X equals Y equals Z equals 10. All right. If I do X, I get 10. If I do Y, I get, uh, 10. If I do Z, I get 10. So you may be wondering what's going on here. Is X pointing to Y and Y is pointing to Z and Z is pointing to 10? Not exactly. That's not how it works. Um, basically what's going on is we got an object here, O, B, J right here. We got X, we got Y. <laughs> Sorry, my handwriting is awful with a, with a uh, mouse. It's awful in general. Like I said before, X is pointing to the object. Y is also pointing to the same object and Z is pointing to the same object. They are not pointing to each other in, in no way, shape or form. All right. They're just pointing to the object. All right. They're referencing the object. They don't reference each other. So that is going on there. Um, um, what else can we talk about here? Uh, we could also you see how we did this. This is called chaining. This is called chaining um, variable assignment. Uh, we could also do something like multiple variables to reference multiple objects all in one line. So we could do a what's going on? a b c is equal to uh, 10, 20, oops, 20 and 30. And then we go a, b and c. And basically all we did was assign A the 10, B the 20, and C the 30, all right? So that's pretty straightforward right there. It's how you assign uh, multiple variables to multiple objects, all right? Uh, another thing that probably should mention is variables in, in Python are not type specific. There's a lot of languages out there where, hey, if you sign, well, first off, you in a lot of languages, you got to say, hey, this needs to be a uh, string, all right? So first off, so if you guys don't know, a string is like this, whoops, it's inside the quotes, all right? That's a string. Um, so basically you're saying, hey, this data type for this variable needs to be a string, all right? And if you go and do something and then come back and try to change that variable to an integer, which is something like this, so four, uh, you get all types of errors in other programming. Not in Python, all right? So if we do A is equal to four, 
All right, so we got a is equal to a integer. If we call it a, it's going to return four. It's saying, hey, I'm pointing to the object number four. All right, and then if I do um, a is equal to my first name, Tom. All right, now a is now no longer referencing four. It's no longer pointing to the object that contains four. Now it's pointing to the object that contains my first name, Tom. All right, cool. So now it's pointing there. Now I could go and say a is now equal to 4.0, which is a floating point number. A is now referencing the object that contains 4.0. All right, that was not my grade point average in school. All right, so now a is pointing to that. Cool. So now you see that they're not type specific. We can change it on the fly to any object we wanted to, um, and we will not run into issues. Um, let's see here. So, <clears throat> like I said before, they're not type specific. Um, trying to think what should we do here. Oh, here's something we should look at. I know this tutorial is getting a little long, but it's important that you guys understand variables. All right. So, A is A is equal to b is equal to 4 all right and we mentioned before a is pointing to 4 b is pointing to 4 they're not pointing to each other they're not referencing each other so let's go ahead and do a b all right so they both return the object 4 all right so now let's go ahead and do id a all right so here's our id um, I'm not going to try to visualize and compare the next one with this one because that might be a little difficult so trying to visualize that or make sure they're matching up correctly is a little bit of a pain in the butt. So we'll just do it programmingly since we're programmers. So we'll say is, is ID A equal to ID B? True, it is. All right, cool. So these two are pointing to the same exact object in memory, all right? Now that's not always gonna be the case, all right? Now, if you had the object, uh, there's, there's a, sometimes it can be a different object, right? It doesn't always be the same object, but I'm going to probably 99% of the time, it's going to be the same object. If you're pointing to the object four, which is an integer, probably going to be the same. All right. Um, we could also do something like ID A is equal, equal to ID four like that. Yeah, it's true. All right. So we're, we're checking the variable a has an ID of the same as the object for, which technically this and this and this is actually just replaced with this. They're all the same. This should be four, four, four. Like I said, a has no information with it. It's referencing this object. So you can take this object and put it here, here, and here, because that's what's actually being returned and that's what Python is checking. It's not actually checking this variable here, all right? So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. This is the same thing as this, this, and this, all right? Um, and then we can basically just reiterate that. We can say ID A and ID B is equal, equal to ID four, oops, like that, and we get true. And basically, like I said before, you can take this, right here and replace it with this and this all right so this is just visually appealing to us but what's really happening in the background it's actually comparing something like this this and this all right so these just reference this is the actual thing that's going on all right so there you go that's variables all right anything you walk away from with today is just remember the naming um, conventions in python remember a through Z, one through nine, underscore. Cannot start with a number, can start with A and underscore, or a letter and underscore. Um, don't use camel case, use a uh, underscore to split up words. Try to be descriptive on your variables, and there you go. That's variables in Python, all right? So also, <laughs> before I go, just remember, the variable holds no information, it's just points to a location in memory of where that object lives. All right, have a good day. I'll see you in the next tutorial.